Rally Australia is back for another year with some of the country's and the world's best drivers flocking to Coffs Harbour to take on the fast, fun and full-on roads of the New South Wales Coffs Coast. Kicking off in November, Car Advice got a sneak preview of what to expect, jumping in for a dusty forest stage hot lap with Australian Rally Championship young gun Harry Bates. We also asked some of the drivers set to battle it out in Coffs what it is they love about Rally. My favourite thing about Rally is the uh, sideways action. The more sideways and committed you are, generally the faster you go. Uh, it's definitely the sideways, you know. There's nothing better feeling than going sideways on gravel, slide into the corner and then get it on the gas afterwards. That's got to be the best feeling. The adrenaline buzz of uh, sliding a car on gravel, <laughs> easily. Favourite thing about Rally, that's always a hard one because uh, there's lots of things. You know, going through the trees and over crests at over 150 kilometres an hour, it's lots of fun. My all-time favourite uh, rally car would have to be the 06 Subaru. Uh, when Solberg was doing Rally Finland, he lost his rear wing. Everyone's seen that epic shot, and I have a car like that at home as well. Oh, good question. Uh, well, at the moment, probably a Subaru Impreza, just because I've had such a good time in it at the moment, and it's really easy to drive. You can do whatever you want, but I'm sure if I got into a WRC car or something better, it would be something like that. I love the Peugeot T16 Group B cars um, and the Quattro Group B cars. I think, um, yeah, they're definitely uh, incredible to watch. But I, I oh, new w, I, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't tell you one car. But they're all, yeah, new WRC car would be good. My WRX is good. Um, yeah, I do not have one all-time favourite. I have a few. Uh, the new Toyota Yaris WRC is is right up there. Uh, Peugeot 206 from the early 2000s in the red Total livery. That was. That's always a favourite, and uh, Toyota Celica 185 from the early 90s. Oh, all-time favourite rally driver for me have to be Ari Vartanen because he actually knew my name when I first met him. I was like blown away, and when he used to drive that black Escort uh, back in the day, you know, I've watched many of those videos, and his commitment and speed against some of the Audi Quattros in a tour drive rally car was just second to none. Uh, I'm going to have to say possible, just because you know, the Kiwiana, uh, but he was, you know, he was a best driver in New Zealand for so long and he was super sideways and he was a really cool guy to talk to as well. I mean there's so many for so many different reasons you know obviously Colin McRae is the incredible icon um, but also someone like Richard Burns um, the way he approaches rallying um, is something that I've learned a lot off uh, so someone like that I really look up to also uh, Michelle Mouton obviously um, she, she really set the standard in the 80s and driving those Group B cars and her attitude and determination is uh, incredibly inspiring and um, you know I think really for me it's, it's probably actually Neil Bates um, at the end of the day because he's been the person that I've had the most contact with and I've learned the most from and um, still talk to all the time and, and learn from and really admired. So I'd actually probably say Neil. That was a very long, <laughs> long answer to a simple question. Uh, Dad, really? <laughs> no. Uh, Sebastian Loeb uh, is definitely up there, you know. He's been the ultimate professional and, and really dominant in our sport and he kind of transformed the way that, that modern drivers do everything to win. So, uh, you know. If I could, you know, if I could look up to him and, and try to do some of what he did, then then I will. So uh, yeah, Sebastian Loeb.
so much for that. Appreciate it.